Hi everyone, welcome to the High Carbon Steel Love Channel. My name is Dave and I'm very happy that you're here. I recently did a couple of videos on two outstanding knives that I own. Both are made by LT Wright Handcrafted Knives right here in the USA. After those videos, I was asked if I can do a comparison. So today, we are gonna take a look at both of those knives together. The LT Wright Legum Bush Knife and the LT Wright Genesis. The Legume Bush Knife on the bottom has an overall length of 8 inches, while the LT Wright Genesis on the top here has an overall length of 9 inches. The widest part of the Legume Bush Knife is 1 inch wide, and the widest part of the Genesis blade is just a bit over 1 inch. The Legume Bush Knife here on top is made of 01 tool steel, and the LT Wright Genesis here on the bottom is made of A2 tool steel. The Genesis has a sharpened edge of 4.25 inches. The Legume has a three and a half inch cutting edge. Beautiful green micarta. The Legume Bush Knife has two fisheye pins and a lanyard hole. LT Wright Genesis has three fisheye pins and a lanyard hole. The Genesis has a beautiful classic broomstick style handle absolutely comfortable in the hand. Also has thumb scallops on each side of the beautiful handle and a little bit of a finger guard. The main characteristic of the legume handle is it has this nice swell here and that swell fills your hand nicely. A little bit of a taper up top and a little bit of a taper on bottom. You can give it the squeeze test and me personally, I don't feel any hot spots. So beautiful handles on each of these knives. Very beautiful JRE Industry leather sheaths. Being 1 8 of an inch thick and heavy duty, it's not going to be a problem for either one of these knives. I'll get into inner pieces of wood. I'll baton for bow drill fires. I'll baton for notching, and that's just about it. So it depends on what type of batoning you wanna do. Of course, the Genesis being a longer blade is gonna be able to handle larger pieces if you like to do that. With that swell in the handle, it gives you a tremendous amount of control. It enables you to really keep track of the control you're putting on from the pressure that you're putting on the handle. With the continuous curve, we can also move to the curved part of the blade. Just like with the Legume Bush Knife, being that this fills your hand nicely, it also allows you to monitor that pressure. So you can make your larger, thicker feathers, or you can make your very, very light, thin ones. And it may be a little bit bigger in a different blade geometry, but this makes feathers just like a champ as well. I feel like the ability to rock with this legume is one of its advantages. You can get your notches started just by rocking the blade. With this continuous curve, the tip towards the end, very useful. Reach in and score right underneath of our pot hook here. Being a Scandinavian grind, I knew that the Genesis would be good at carving. I just didn't know how good. For a larger knife, this knife carves a lot like a smaller knife if you need it to. The tip end of this knife is also very useful. Stick it right in there and score underneath of this pot hook. 
not a bad carver at all. The Genesis here does a little bit better of a job with these drilling type tasks. This thing's almost working like a drill here when you need it to. And then it gets right in there because of that drop point tip. Clean it out. So it's not pretty, but there's our good old fashioned hole in a stick right there. They both come with very aggressive 90 degree or squared off spines. And it doesn't take a whole lot to remove material with this one. Switch over to the legume. Very sleek in the hand. Whereas with the Genesis, I feel a bit more power, like I have more leverage, I can use more of the blade. You might like a drop point Kephart style blade, or you might like the full continuous curve of the smaller legume. So let's switch back to the Genesis and kind of rectangle this board out a little bit. Being that they're both a Scandinavian grind, beautiful Scandinavian grinds by the way from LT Wright Knives, awesome. Both of them are just an absolute pleasure to carve with. The broomstick is excellent. What the Genesis allows is me to use these thumb scallops in this type of grip, which allows a very controlled cut. And the legume is also very good in all different types of grips. I have been using the Lagoon Bush Knife for well over a year now, and it's become my favorite bushcraft knife. I've only used the LT Wright Genesis for about a month now, but I am loving it very much. The Lagoon is a little bit less expensive, it's a little bit smaller of a package, and if that's what you prefer, I'd go with that one. If you'd like a little bit larger of a knife, if you're more of a fan of the Kephart design and the drop point blade and the broomstick handle, I would go with the Genesis. If it were up to me, I wouldn't choose one or the other. I would actually buy both of them. You could have them both on your hip and be ready for any outdoor adventure for many, many years to come. And then your kids will be ready for any adventure in many years to come after that. Tremendous knives made by great people. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, you can hover over my little avatar down here in the corner. You can click the red subscribe button underneath of this video, or in the description box, I will leave a link that will allow you to subscribe as well. If you have any thoughts or any questions, leave those down below. And finally, in the description box, not only will you find links to the gear mentioned in this video, but you'll also find my social media links. Join me at any of those other platforms and it'll be great to see you over there too. I would like to thank everyone for taking the time to join me here today and we will talk with you again soon. Thanks, bye-bye.